Welcome back to Stats and Packs for Monday, January 16th of 2023. All right, so what we decided to do for, you know, a few more weeks before the season starts, we got February and March and stuff in <coughs> part of this. We thought it'd be fun in the off season to look at some of the prospects in the minor leagues. So we've got a box of 2022 Heritage Minor League. It has two guaranteed autos, 18 packs, eight cards per pack, and it has some... These cards, these are called pinup stuff. All right, we've got Jordan Walker, uh, Uribiel Angelis, and Luis Angel Angel Acuna. So, we do know that on the list, because we got a list of the top 20 prospects for MLB, we have this guy, Jordan Walker, and he is number six for the St. Louis Cardinals on that. So, I'm going to put him up there. And all these cards are, if you think they're off-centered, they're all that way. You can see how they were printed. That was on purpose. Kind of nice if you wanted, and they could sign real small right there. You could get their signature on those. But we got those three. Those are kind of fun. Those are an insert set. <clears throat> and I'm going to have Rebecca grab one pack of any of them, and we're going to check out the stats of these minor league players. And this is a hobby-only product. Alright, let's open and see what we got. See if we can get any of the top 20 prospects. Max Ferguson. Alright, let's look up here on Minor League Baseball. We'll look up Max Ferguson. I, he's with the Boston. He's with the... Uh, Lake Elsinore's uh, storm on that one, but what does it say? Greenville Drive on Emma Minor League Baseball, so it's the high affiliate of the Boston Red Sox. So, <clears throat> 2022 stats for him. 416 at-bats, 95 runs, 89 hits, 7 home runs, 60 RBI, 61 stolen bases with a 214 average. So he was a fifth round pick, 160 overall by the San Diego Padres. Now he's with the Red Sox. I don't know what team that is, but currently that's what it says on here. He split time in 2022 between something that California A, mid A plus, and uh, Greenville. Uh, yeah. So that's where he's at. So we'll put him over here. Larry. Ernesto. Ernesto. All right. Let's look up Larry Ernesto. Right there says the the Brewers. All right. ACL. I don't know which one that is. <clears throat> Maybe that's the Arizona Cactus League, I guess. Um, status says he's been released. I don't know if he's going to be picked up by anybody. They just kind of let him go. Last year, he was with Rookie Ball. He's been there since 2018, so really nothing's going on with him. So his career in the minors, he's got... 426 at-bats, 63 runs, 92 hits, 7 home runs, 34 RBIs, 17 stolen bases with a 216 average. So nothing going on with this guy, right, at all. Alexander Ramirez. Okay, Alexander Ramirez. So this kind of like seeing if you're going to get Bowman draft or Bowman next year. Any of those minor league stuff. Uh, let's see. All right. Angels organization. That's what it says. Inland Empire 66 on that. Just says he's with the Angels organizations. Um, in 2022... He, let's see, was with, I don't know what that one was, but Inland Empires uh, in California, that was A-Ball. Obviously, that's with the Angels organization, so this is what he did last year. 475 at bets, 67 runs, 109 hits, 8 home runs, 59 RBIs, 21 home bases with a 229 average. We haven't had anybody yet that's really kind of been tearing it up down there. I don't know what insert this is called, but let's 
look at the back of that. You can show the back on there. All right, what does it say on the back? It says baseball stars number one. And that's Chipper Jones. All right, I didn't notice that. He played for the Durham Bulls. That's really cool. I'm going to see on the cardboard connection. Let's see what that says. I know they've got a list of those. So it's baseball stars. You know, Chipper Jones is a Hall of Famer, so that's kind of a fun card. <clears throat> Let's see, back down here, it's one of their insert sets on the thing. We're going to go down to see what it says here. we got, so it's the baseball stars. we got all sorts of autograph variations and different stuff and real one autographs. Um, and we're going to go down here to, which one do we got here? we got the pinup things is what we got there for the Jordan Walker all right so this one is the I'm gonna read the back of this baseball stars number one I don't know if I saw that one could it be like reprint stuff because they've got sets for that okay it's the 73 tops 53 reprint set and that one is I guess that's Chipper Jones, Durham Bulls. We'll put him up there. That's kind of cool. All right. Who's the next one? Greg Jones. <clears throat> All right, Greg Jones. Montgomery Biscuits. I love some of these minor league names. They're just really cool. It's like anything goes. Like I like the Rocket City Trash Pandas. This is Tampa Bay. That one's kind of a fun name too. So Greg Jones is with the Tampa Bay Rays playing, what did he do here? He played with, oh. So it says, Tampa Bay selected the contract of shortstop Greg Jones from Montgomery Biscuits. Okay, and on September 24th, Montgomery Biscuits activated from the injured list, so he's injured a little, so... Now he's just with Tampa Bay, so last year, what did he do? Maybe he spent the whole year with them. All right. All right, his stats for last year. 319 at-bats, 54 runs, 76 hits, 8 home runs, 40 RBIs, 37 stolen bases, with a two thirty-eight average. All right, he's 24 years old, so he's got... To get his act going if he wants to get up there. Dario Lopez. <coughs> I'm seeing if any of these people are on our top 20 list here. We've got Dario Lopez. Alright. Like there's some players, like I know Bobby Witt has a card in here. I'm not sure why. He's with Pittsburgh. It says Bradenton Marauders on this one. This one says he's with the Greensboro Grasshopper is a high A affiliate of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's see, try to see if he's got any, nope. That's where he was. He was a high A affiliate all year last year, so. But he didn't do so bad. <coughs> 391 at bats, 58 runs, 112 hits, 19 home runs, 58 RBIs, 6 home bases with a 286 average. Alright, I don't know where he's at on the top of the list for... Put him up there. He's the best one so far. 286 average. Armando Cruz. Alright, Armando Cruz. I don't see any of the top names. Hopefully within this uh, hobby box we get something. Armando Cruz. A lot of these... All right, he was with Fredericksburg of the Washington Nationals, single A affiliate. Uh, okay. 222 at bats, 44 runs, 61 hits, two home runs, 22 RBIs, six home bases with a 275 average. Now, they got a lot of players from the D Dominican Republic, and a lot of times, I think when they turn 16, if I'm wrong, so let me know they can sign contracts. So I know they 
I saw something that talked about Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s brother. He's getting close to 16, and they showed some stuff in Rangers, so they kind of supposed, but they couldn't say that he was going to sign with the Angels as a 16-year-old contract. So maybe this is why they don't have any like draft information, and they've just been with that organization, and now they're... He's 18 years old, so yeah, it's first year there, so I guess he's officially able to do that. So we'll just put him over here in this pile and go to the next one. Joshua Garcia. I'm just trying to see if any of these are on the list. Doesn't look like it. We don't have any of the... One of them that's on the list for this year that I saw on MLB was... Gunnar Henderson, he's the number two overall prospect, number one for the uh, <clears throat> he's number one for the Orioles, and MLB thinks that he could be the uh, what do you call it the minor league the rookie of the year next year. So this one's not coming up with anything. Okay, I gotta spell it right. Oh, there you go. Yaswar Garcia. Philadelphia Phillies. Clearwater Threshers. I think Clearwater's in Florida, if my geography's correct. And, yeah, he's from Venezuela. 21 years old. 132 at-bats, 26 runs, 28 hits, 1 home run, 17 RBIs, 32 stolen bases, with a 212 average. And he's been playing around in the... Is that two... Two years. So last year he played for two different teams. You guys can make your determination like, you know, I know they always put things out. He was with FCL League and the FSL, so I don't know what those designations are. There's so much stuff going on in minor league, you never know. But for now, it looks like he's with Philadelphia Phillies organization. So one of those not drafted type players. So, yeah. <clears throat> But I think the best card we have so far is this Jordan Walker. This, uh, what's called the pinup inserts. And yeah, let us know what you think of this, uh, thing we're going to be doing for a few weeks or maybe a month or so, just to kind of get an idea of what the minor league players are doing. And yeah, and this has been your. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll be back on Wednesday with more Opening Day Wednesday. And this has been your stats and packs for this Monday. Have a great week, and we'll see you again on Wednesday.